Hello, good evening, you all. You already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages. Let's see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We have the... We have the Empress with the Two of Pentacles. Somebody is juggling whether they want to, um, there could be an empress juggling whether they want to answer the phone or not. Somebody is not picking up the phone. Somebody's not answering the phone, which is somebody, somebody is calling somebody for work, to come in for work, and somebody not answering. And whoever's calling is panicking and worrying about this person not answering the phone and not coming in for work. Whoever this um, person of authority is. Maybe this person has um, done this in the past. But this time, it's some type of judgment that's going to be made for this person. It's like a no call, no show or something going on. Maybe some type of judgment is going to be made. But for some people, somebody's not answering because they, they got a new plan. They want to embark on a new endeavor. And this is why they're not picking up here. Um, some people, they're going through it. Somebody is really down and going through it to the point where they can't come into work. Um, and they could be on the verge of losing their job or getting some type of disciplinary action or some type of judgment at work. It could be about a lover here. It could be about a lover. That's why they not um, coming in. They could feel betrayed here. They could be, um, they could feel betrayed about some type of decision in planning here or something like that. With a lover, they was expecting this lover to walk through the door and they could have been waiting on this person's call, but it's a dead end here. And there's changes within this relationship here yeah, somebody is dissatisfied. And then we have the devil. And then we have the the world. Somebody felt oppressed in the relationship here. And they want to end it. So this person is hurt. Um, this person is hurt by this. And they're not, they're not answering the phone. Somebody's boss is calling. They're not answering the phone here. This person feels like this person is doing this and this situation is meeting a dead end because this person wants to work with and date and communicate with someone else here. 
call on somebody else. And this is why they're calling them and ending it. This person feel like this person about to go celebrate with other people. And they like, this is why you, you know, calling and ending this here. Um, there are threats being made, though, too. Or there could have been threats being made with money and things of that nature here. Somebody ready to fight. Yeah, somebody just, somebody, somebody ready to fight about it. Somebody ready to fight about it. There's a lot of chaos. And somebody is watching to see who this person is dating. Because they ready to get in the field about it. So if this person catch this person dating somebody, they gonna try to fight them. This is also another reason why somebody could be walking away because they tired of the chaos and the arguments and the pettiness. And they're watching this. They watch this person walk away and search for their own happiness, you know, taking a risk and taking action. And this is the truth here. Um, this being illuminated. Yeah, they watching somebody become a new. And this person feels defeated watching this person transform like this here and let this go. But. You know, it make them want to fight. It make them want to fight. Yeah, somebody's walking away from a commitment here. Yeah, they laying into rest. And they standing their ground on it. They want the victory. They want to head in a new direction. And they making plans to do so. To take a leap of faith. To to have a, a new. This person wants to awaken to something new here. Somebody's walking away from some sort of commitment. Whatever this is, it's faded. This individual could even have some regrets here. They're dissatisfied in whatever this is. This person could have some regrets to his will here. They feel like they should have said no. They feel like they missed on, you know, other abundant opportunities dealing with this, uh, dealing with this, uh, individual could have been like more abundant partnerships that they could have had, but they was with this person. That's just how they feel. Right? I, that's what I see. They feel like they missed out on blessings dealing with this person. Yep, opportunities. That's what they feel like. They missed out on blessings and opportunities being in a commitment with whoever this is. Yeah. They could have teamed up with whatever this was for abundance here. 
too as well, but they also feel like they sacrificed, you know, different opportunities where they could have teamed up with, you know, different people here and had, you know, abundant opportunities with them. People that they actually into. This person feel betrayed. Yeah, this person being stubborn too as well here. This person is manifesting new opportunities. They want to clear these stress and burdens up and get karmic justice in their life. They want to renewal here. They they want to surrender here, and this is the truth. Somebody want to surrender something, and they manifesting something new. Um, they're admitting defeat, and some this person could have been backstabbed or betrayed too as well here. But they're being stubborn on their decision here, and they they being stubborn on their decision here, and they in their authority. With making this decision and what they're manifesting that is new. This individual is over it. they wish fulfillment and they're tired of watching and spying here and investigating they want whatever they want their wish fulfillment they don't feel no unity so this individual wants to transcend somebody has awakened somebody remembers So there is a contract that is being broken here. Disharmony. Something is broken. The signs of the masculine and or the feminine. Somebody could be a Virgo. Somebody is a Pisces. Somebody is a Capricorn. Somebody is an Aquarius. Somebody's a Taurus, a Scorpio, bottom of the deck, Cancer. So we have a Virgo, a Pisces, a Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Cancer. Those are the signs of the masculine and or feminine. <laughs> So there is um, there is a masculine having an, an awakening here about a partnership that they are in. This person also could have been getting juggled by this woman here. This woman had different lovers. This person was being cheated on.
something about a pregnancy scare too. Somebody could have dealt with somebody uncle. Somebody slept with somebody uncle. Somebody slept with somebody stepbrother. Somebody didn't want to heal. Somebody could have been cash apping somebody's enemy or rival to as well. Like get this person could have been getting money from this person's enemies or giving money to this person's enemies. Yeah, somebody was stuck in like a old way of thinking to as well. You know, being traditional here. Twins can be involved here. We have twins or somebody could be a twin. Yeah, somebody felt like they was with a fatal attraction. Yeah, we have dead silence here. Also, somebody could have slept with somebody's cousin. Somebody was uh, very insecure. This person could have dealt with a, a dealt with some dangerous men too as well here. Dangerous, insecure men. This person that they was with could have been uh, insecure too as well here. Somebody is being humbled in a situation. There was a lot of underground, underhanded, corrupt things going on here. Somebody was also doing something on the black market. Karmic feminine. We have sacrificed here. This karmic feminine could have tried to sacrifice somebody doing some under uh some underhanded things here. We also have deadbeat mom. This mother this this person could be a mother. Maybe sacrifice their relationship with their child. Somebody is being a deadbeat here. Or they could have had a deadbeat mom. All this person could do is maybe uh, just watch TV. We do have a pregnancy scare too as well here. Okay, somebody is choosing the light. We have an interview. Somebody might be getting some type of interview too as well here. Somebody wants a soulmate. Music could be significant. Um, somebody was trying to be, fight, cause drama and chaos here. Hands tied. They got to reap everything they sown. Yeah, somebody was having indoor sex with someone here. We have root work. Somebody was doing root work here with the downgrade. Two as well here. Something was supposed to be top secret. Somebody planted a bug somewhere. Somebody tried to bunch everybody into one. Maybe somebody is a diviner and they thought diviners was all the same or something. It's exactly what it looks like. Somebody did something for personal gain here. It could have been top secret that this person was going to diviners and getting root work done and, and everything. This was supposed to be top secret. This person could have been acting like um something that they you know was not they could have even been like i would never you know talk about diviners and stuff like that i would never blah 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 but meanwhile they top secretly going to diviners um and trying to do root work on somebody to downgrade them pull them down this person um tried to ruin a lover girl's reputation here lover girl attempt to ruin reputation they did that for personal gain they tried to ruin somebody else's uh, reputation and don't you dare repaint shit because this individual tried to ruin somebody's reputation here. We have a fake number called text app family secrets here with the stepsister. I see stepdaughter too as well here. Somebody was love bombing somebody showing some form of fake love. Maybe through a fake number app here we have workplace somebody could have worked with somebody here and it could have been uh many against one individual show them who the fuck you is 
Yeah, somebody was fake happy here. And but the spirit within know they was full of shit here. False pregnancy again. Something about a hotel. No mercy. Because somebody set somebody up to be assaulted for no reason. It was a plot and a plan here. So no mercy will be had on whatever setup somebody was trying to do on somebody here. If somebody was plotting and planning to kidnap somebody here. Group click crew coven. We have country here. Maybe kidnap somebody. Um, and take them to the country. Mm -hmm. We also have incest going on here. Maybe it was some incest with family members too as well. With them family members that was named. Yeah this is an ugly ass group here. They talk down on other people. But they sell they soul. This ugly ass click crew or whatever the case may be. This ugly. They talk down on a lot of people. And they talk down on people that have less than. But they sell they soul for anything. And they was making fun of somebody here. Somebody end up having a miscarriage because of this here. Somebody could have been dealing with a transgender at an Airbnb too as well. This probably was a sugar mama or a sugar daddy transgender individual here. Or somebody was being a sugar mama, sugar daddy to a uh, transgender. They can work in the educational field. Somebody tried to plan somebody's funeral speech. What they was going to say at somebody's funeral after they, you know, passed away or something from something. Um, so somebody is going to get shown tough love here. Somebody also had bad pole in a lane. Somebody, uh, yeah, somebody penis is not good in a lane. Students turned on teacher. Maybe somebody was educating somebody, you know, teaching them stuff. But then the people that they was teaching turned on them. Yeah, somebody wanted to keep something quiet here. We have you are the father. Somebody is also racist here. Somebody was getting a BBL or want a BBL, artificial, synthetic. Somebody wants something fake here. Yeah, somebody popular here. Something about a bartender. Yeah, somebody is going to be, somebody popular is going to end up looking drained, lifeless, because they're going to be deteriorating, death be upon them, they're bisexual. We have here science and technology, somebody could be a lab tech, archaeologist, software engineer, physicist, or somebody that's bisexual need to go get some lab work done. Somebody was, uh, somebody damaged somebody's property here, we have piece of shit, messy friend group. This could have been a lot of things that was going on, you know, in this situation or, uh, you know, with these people. They could have been factors to why somebody wanted to, you know, end things and walk away, whether it was the masculine or the feminine. But we have kids, child support, split in the deck, down low, male or female, bugaboo. Bugaboo then popped out. Somebody could have been bugging about, uh, you know, child support and stuff like that. Somebody be mean mugging and sounding irritated about somebody's work wife or something. Somebody was going to the club here. or Somebody will be going to the club in the future here. Or somebody was supposed to stop going to the club, but, you know, they got some reoccurring lessons, things they need to learn here. Somebody did something for the love of money. Okay, somebody could be stripping, do that for the love of money. Somebody said they changed, but they lied. Somebody was messing with people you know, and somebody stole some type of property. We have dropout here. Maybe somebody dropped out of school. So those are just some extra messages that may help or, you know, clarify your situation. message with a grateful heart message because it's um, always something to be grateful about you know it's even good 
good to leave situations when you know and see that they're not good for you, no matter, no matter the connection, to be honest. Can we get a grateful heart message, please? Thank you. It says here, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So uh, if you're feeling weak at this time and you're going through this um, and you need some strength, you know, because sometimes it's not easy to stop dealing with individuals that, you know, you're used to dealing with. And especially if you, you know, have ever felt insecure and, you know, stayed in something that may have hurt you but it was just something that you were comfortable in so you just stayed in and the divine's power is made perfect in weakness he would be able to help you get out of that you know and break those chains and for some people it ain't gonna happen overnight um for some it's a process but just know eventually you will be able to stand up and walk away from anything that is no good from for you and that no longer serves you with that divine power here so pray for grace pray for mercy to the divine call on yahweh um and he will hear you you know but you just have to be open it says here it is good to give thanks to yahweh to sing praises to the most high and then we have here May Yahweh give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. So if you if you plan to end something or exit something, he he knows your heart and you know he will help you. Just you just have to be open to the help and and pray about it. But I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.